dear viewers in the last class i told you about some important topics and in detail i am going to give you the things okay in, in, in some terminology you will come across in income tax first one is person when you take into account a person you will come across nearly seven seven items in this person only okay when you take generally a person we can we can say it is he is an individual or she is an individual but when you go for income tax person includes an individual who is assessed in respect of his personal income a hindu undivided family a joint stock company a partnership firm an association of persons a local authority and every artificial person created by court of law these are these are all included in the term person because income tax people they'll take into account not only individuals but also the firms partnership firms companies hindu and divided family all these association of persons okay local authority that is municipal authority as well as the artificial persons created by court of law so all the people they will come under this head person and after that we will come across a, another important topic that is nothing but assessment year and financial year so financial year is nothing but nothing but the year for which we are preparing the accounts that is nothing but financial year and this financial year it depends in the previous years in the previous years it depends upon the individuals some people they used to take the calendar year that is january 1st to december 31st and some people from diwali to diwali and some people they they used to take from august to september like that they used to take and they used to depend upon their whims and fancies but the income tax authorities okay it kept a financial year as 1st april of an year to 31st march of next year that is 12 months duration so that thing it was known as the financial year and assessment year whatever it may be the income that is derived that is derived in the financial year it will be taxed in the next year that is nothing but assessment year where the tax assessment was done okay of the financial year and in the previous class itself i told you that previous year what whatever year that we come across before the financial year we we'll call we'll call that thing as previous year and immediate year we we'll call that thing as relevant previous year and before that whatever it may be we we'll call them as previous years and you have to take into account the previous years financial year and assessment year all the things you have to take into account because when you go for residential status one important topic residential status of an individual of a firm of a company all these things do you have to take into account when you take into account the residential status okay the previous years they will play an important role okay this is about the assessment year previous year and financial year and after that okay after that we will come across just one second assessment year according to section 29a assessment year means the period of 12 months commencing from 1st april of every every year and ending on 31st march next okay during this the total income of an ssc earned during the previous year is assessed to tax that is nothing but assessment year previous year according to section 3 of the income tax act previous year is the preceding 12 months period in the relevant assessment year it starts 
on 1st April and ends on 31st March next. Okay, the income earned during the above period is considered for tax purposes. Therefore, it is also known as income year or accounting year. Okay, previous year is the financial year immediately preceding the assessment year. This is about this thing. And you will come across some exceptions to the general rule. What are the exceptions that we come across to the general rule? Let us see that. Exception. The general rule is that the income earned in any year, that is previous year, is taxed in the subsequent year, that is assessment year. But in the following cases, the income is taxed. Okay, the income is taxed. Okay. <clears throat> okay, on which year or in which year it is okay, earned. So, what are the exceptions? Persons leaving India with an intention not to return during the relevant assessment year. When people, when they want to go away, when they want to go away and when they don't want to stay in the assessment year, that year we'll call that thing as, that is nothing but an exception to this. And income of non-resident shipping companies. Non-resident. Suppose when you take into account the exports and imports, some cargo ships, they will come to our country. And when they are going to leave, then whatever it may be, the income earned by them, okay, they must be assessed in that year only. That is the thing. Having no representation in India, the owner of the ship has to be, has to file a return to the ITO, Income Tax Authority Officer, showing the income earned by the company on account of carrying passengers or cargo before leaving the port in India. The income tax officer on receiving such return has to assess the income and determine the tax liability. So this is a point. And income of discontinued business. According to section 176 of the Income Tax Act. Okay. When any person, when he discontinues the business, so his income earned, whatever it may be, the income earned will be assessed in that year only. It is not postponed to other year. Okay. That is about income of discontinued business. Whomever it may be, whether it may be an individual or Hindu undivided family, a partnership firm or a company, whatever it may be, they must be assessed in that year only. Next, persons transferring their assets to avoid tax. Some people, when they think that when we are keeping the assets with us, okay, then we have to pay tax. So with that fear, what they will do is they will transfer the assets to other persons. Okay, their executors or their representatives okay when they are transferring whatever it may be the income earned by the person it should be taxed in that year only it should not be taken to the next year okay that is one important exception next income of bodies formed for short duration okay that is one thing okay for one year short duration means three to five years generally very short period means one to three years short period means three to five years whenever any person when he earns any income or when he wants to okay when he wants to take away or when he wants to stop that okay then income of bodies or association formed for a short period of time that is for a small duration, three years to five years, when they form an association, that association persons, whatever their income they receive, they must be taxed in that period only. They should not be transferred to other uh, other years. That is, the assessment year won't, will be the same year. Will be the same year. It is not taken to next year. These are some of the exceptions to the general rule that we come across and all the tax people they have to follow one important body that is nothing but CBDT Central Board of Direct Taxes so what is this Central Board of Direct Taxes the highest authority in the administrative administrative setup of income tax department is the Central Board of Direct Taxes 
it was created under the central board of revenue act 1963 the board functions under the control of ministry of finance government of india and its jurisdiction is complete india okay powers what are the powers that the cbdt will have okay first one it has the power to make rules and issue orders instructions and directions to all officers and persons employed in the execution of the act that is first one they have to give the rules regulations orders everything instructions to the employees who are um, who are working in that department the board has power to determine the jurisdiction of various authorities mentioned in the act okay what is the jurisdiction okay i like that you will come across because when you take into account okay the previous years two places jammu and kashmir these are the two places where the income tax it is not having any authority but now when you take into account even in jammu and kashmir also the people they have to follow the rules and regulations of this income tax authorities okay next third one is third one is to declare an organization as a company okay when you take into account an organization it will decide that cbdt people they will decide whether it is to be taken as a company or not okay that is the thing that we come across okay next to determine the period of previous year what is the period that we have to take into account next the board is empowered to decide jurisdiction matters on any income or tax authority and assigned to them such functions as are to be performed by them so the cbdt people they will decide they will decide about this the board may dis uh, disclose information relating to any ss sse to any officer or authority under any law relating to the G imposition of any tax during the foreign uh, foreign exchange regulation act of 1973 this is the next power that the board it is having to approve reduction or waiving of penalty by the commissioner in excess of specified amount when they want to remove the excess amount or penalty whatever it may be the board has the ultimate authority to do that so with this i am going to close and tomorrow we are going to continue some more topics thank you